Hello there YouTube, it's the Dictator here for Mr Dictator Designs bringing you another Photoshop CS5 tutorial this time on the topic of how to create animated scan lines across text or how to create an animated effect across your profile divider now if we jump straight into Photoshop you'll see that I already have a profile divider opened up within Photoshop with my channel name Mr Dictator Designs on it we learnt how to make this profile divider within a previous Photoshop CS5 tutorial of mine if you haven't seen that tutorial or don't, don't know how to make profile dividers with text I suggest you go back and watch that video first alternatively if we move on for those that already know how to do this um, first of all uh, within my layers palette you'll see that I have all the different layers opened up uh, within my layers palette the background layer 1 which is the two divider lines top and bottom and layer 2 which is the solid blue line across the middle next we have the text which is obviously Mr. Dictator Designs I'm now going to create a new layer and this layer is going to serve as a layer that holds our scan line on and with my rectangular marquee tool selected I'm going to come across to the outer of the text I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag the marquee tool so both sides of the rectangle are protruding across the text so they're even hanging out of the text sorry next I'm going to go to uh, right click my mouse and hit fill now as you can see I have foreground color selected and my foreground color in my color swatches here is set to blue and that's just in keeping with the overall design of my profile divider you can make this any color you want at all so I'm going to click OK as you can see that's created a solid blue line across our text or near our text sorry which is within the blue marquee tool uh, next what I'm going to do is in my layers palette I'm going to turn down the opacity of that scan line to 50% now as you can see that's given that a slightly transparent effect um, which will help us when we animate the scan line across the text okay so next what I'm going to do is bring you into the animation part of the uh, scan line I'm going to go to the top of my workflow or workspace and I'm going to find window I'm going to click that and I'm going to open up animation now as you can see at the bottom of my workspace I've opened up the animation window next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new frame or duplicate that selected frame within my animation window now what I'm going to do is select my move tool now and with the layer selected that is our scan line I'm going to move that scan line across the text until it's outside of the text again okay now next what I'm going to do is this is the animation part of the scan line I'm going to come that back down to the animation window and here you'll see tweens animation frames what that does is it creates an animation now I su suggest that you have 25 frames selected as that will give you a nice smooth animation uh, when you render out the animated picture and I'm going to tween that with the previous frame so second frame will be tweened with the first frame click OK and that will create 25 frames on top of the two frames that you already have given us a total of 27 frames and if I rewind that animation that we just created and hit play you'll see that the line scans across the text now as you can see we have the animation and the scan line created but it doesn't look very good because the scan line shows up on the outside across the divider and on the text now what we're trying to achieve is so the scan line or the animated scan line only shows up across the text how do we achieve this I hear you ask well it's quite easy really we do this within our layer properties if I stop the animation on the last frame which is 27 um, within the layer properties you'll see that I have the layer selected 
and it's highlighted in blue to show us that it's selected for the scan line. Now if I rename that so we don't get confused, scan line, okay. Now what I want to do is whatever layer that I want the scan line only to be on, I'm going to make sure I have the scan line selected in blue and left click that layer but make sure it does not highlight into blue. That's very important. Next, we're going to drag that layer by making sure we hold down our left mouse button and I'm going to drag that into Add Vector Mask as you can see here. Add Vector Mask, there you go. Now what this does, as you can see, the scan line disappeared. We re rewind the animation and set that to just once. Um, you'll see that the scan line now only shows up on the text. And it's a bit slow at the moment because my computer is running a diff few different programs. But this will look a lot smoother once you render out the animation. Now that's pretty much it for the animation. The animation is all done. We, as you can see we have a scan line created. Now we're going to want to save this for the web. So what I suggest is we go up to File, and within Photoshop CS5, you go down to Save for Web and Devices. I know there are other ways of doing this. This is the way I know best and feel more comfortable with. So clicking Save for Web and Devices, a new window should open up once my computer stops being slow. As you can see there, it's fully loaded. And if we hit Play within this window, we'll see that the animation is exactly how we want it. But as you see, because I had once selected in the animation window on the original animation, this animation will only play it once. Now I like to have these animations played forever. So if we change that to forever and hit play, you'll see that that now plays forever. Okay, that's the technical part done. Now all we want to do, so we save it for the internet and you can upload it onto your profiles for forums, things like that. We hit save. And we're going to call this divider scan line one. And we only want to save the in images. I'll get into HTML and HTML only later, but for now, all we want to do is images only. Hit save, and as you can see, that's saving. Now you should be able to upload that onto popular upload sites like tinypic.com or imageshack.com or photobucket.com and you'll then be able to display your new animated graphic onto forums, your favorite websites and such. Thank you very much for watching my fourth Photoshop CS5 tutorial. This has been the dictator for Mr. Dictator Designs.